Good afternoon and good morning to some on the west coast and the east coast. It's afternoon and here in Colorado it's high noon. Glad that you could join me. This is Dr. Lauren Christopher Dew, the sexual healer. I'm just so glad to be here and today we're going to do another simulcast. So I'm going to be doing YouTube for about 10-15 minutes, however long it takes, and then we will go into uh, the rest of our program on Blog Talk Radio. Those of you that are looking at this uh, on YouTube, just know that if you want to get the detail, go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash dr dash d-u-e blogtalkradio.com forward slash dr dash d-u-e I welcome you in the chat room. I welcome you that may be calling in and those listening at a later time. Uh, today we're going to talk a little different uh, to be relevant. You know, uh, one of the things that they keep teaching us is that it's important to be relevant. And so as we do this simulcast, we are going to talk about a relative issue that a lot of people are talking about. And since it relates to sexual healing, I just think it's very appropriate. But I want to just give a shout out to let you know that this program is sponsored by Joy Christian Center, and that's joychristiancenter.org. It's all one word, joychristiancenter.org. You can go to our website. I am the director and pastor there, and my wife, Prophetess Argina, is our prophet and uh, assistant pastor. We uh, are a ministry. 501c3 and our work is that of healing and deliverance and a prophetic ministry to those. Last evening we had such a marvelous time. If you are looking at this YouTube and you don't mind praying, join us on Tuesday nights with Prayer with the Prophets. And uh, we had just a number of people that came on at 6 p.m. Um, at uh, Mountain Standard Time for Prayer with the Prophets. And then uh, we'll be back again on Friday night with live conversations with a prophetess, not a psychic. And uh, the last few weeks we've just had uh, a lot of people waiting in the queue to, to uh, put their request in and get a word, etc. And then, of course, we're back Sunday, for those of you that are new, with our program called Live Sunday Meeting. And that program is for people who don't have a church to go to and they want to fellowship with other believers. We are followers of Christ. We're non-denominational. And so uh, that's what we believe is the word. And we, by meeting like this, we're fulfilling Hebrews 10th chapter, verse 25, for those that are concerned about wanting to do what the word teaches us. Well, I'm just glad. Uh, we said we're going to make this relative. You know we've changed the title of this now series. It is still say a word about this. That is the, the title of the program. But the series, we've changed that title to Sex in the Bible. And uh, we will get on that horse, as they say, in a moment. Before we get to that, though, I want to deal with this subject that's in the news. And that is of the former governor of the state of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I want to say, so don't get mad before you let me say this and then you can make your own conclusion. But I want to just say this, I haven't really read the story. I have lots of alerts and lots of information. I understand that Arnold uh, had sex with his uh, housekeeper or someone and apparently, you know, he became governor and he did all of that, and the key that I want to point out, though, in that, Arnold, if I, if I understand correctly now, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he is a Catholic, like his wife, and if that is the case, I want, here's the point I want to make. Arnold is human, like me, like you, and all of us, and when I discovered or when I did read a little bit about what was happening or hear about it and found that Arnold was living in Sacramento 
and his wife and family were staying in Southern California I told my wife I said that is a prescription for trouble or another word mess and not knowing when I said that that uh, all of this stuff would break out and then to find that because you know he puts his pants on like I do one leg at a time maybe two if he's if he's a little smarter than I and he goes to the bathroom you know and so he's human he's flesh and blood the, the difference is maybe because he believes uh, follows the if he's Catholic follows what they believe and I gotta tell you as a sexual healer anybody that's following that religion you you gotta understand that if their priests aren't being celibate like they're telling you and their priests aren't abstaining like they're telling you then what do you think's happening with all of the thousands of people that are Catholic that have to go in and confess if the priests are fornicating as a matter of fact I'll be a little funny today because they say they're married to God because that you know they, they, they're not married to a woman they say so if they're married to God the priests are adulterous because when you who if you're married and you have sex outside of your marriage you are an adulterer so the priests are either adulterers or they're fornicators and the reason I'm not upset with Arnold because he if he's a Catholic and he's following that that particular religion understand that there's a book that I use called sex priests and power anatomy of a crisis written by a W Richard site s i p e author of a secret world sexuality and the search for celibacy and you know this book was written uh, it's not a brand new book it's, it's new to me because I keep my books pretty nice thank God but this book is was written all the way back in 1995 so <laughs> this has been around and he's got some more stuff but he was able before this crisis finally erupted uh, from and this is spirituality because you know whatever your body's doing it's it's covering your spirit meaning it's you know wherever your spirit is your body's transporting it so this relates to sexuality and spirituality all comes together but in his book on page 69 he says that maybe 40 percent of the Catholics are celibate but in terms of abstaining it's very few of them he says five percent of them are obviously well not obvious but they're five percent are masturbators and you know I did a thing on masturbation liberation and we know that that's another lie because masturbation God has nothing to say about it in the whole Bible so they that's another lie that they per, uh, perpetrated and folks have believed it and they're all in condemnation and the devil's just sitting back laughing just saying boy this is really something I got I got them and then four percent of them uh, are involved with adolescents two percent of them are pedophilia one percent of these priests and nuns are transvestites ten percent have homosexual behaviors eight percent are in associations and experimentation whatever that means uh, eight percent truly are celibate at least they say they are possible they're, they're getting there they're consolidating their efforts is what how they puts it and then uh, 20 percent are heterosexual relations and behavioral patterns that means they're having sex with somebody that's uh, you know of the priests the men are having sex with women okay and the nuns are having sex with with uh, with uh, with men and only two percent of them are celibate two percent or celibate or even considering being a abs abstaining so you got to understand that if you got that big of a, a, a diversion and that big of a gap in the Catholic Church what's gonna happen with their people and all these folks upset with Arnold <laughs> hey leave Arnold alone you need to be looking at the source of the problem you need to be looking at what's going on 
And if we want to get real and, and, and be real about it, those that follow Christ, if we truly are, truly are followers of Christ, then we, we have a prescription. And it, his prescription, he gave it to us that a man and a woman, once they're married, that's when sex starts. Everything else isn't of God. Period. And that's how God sees it. Now, we know that, hey, our society, hey, you're, these folks are having sex uh, at eight, seven, six, you know, and, and look what happened to me because I was abused by my father. So, hey, uh, it's, it's a mess. But don't get upset with Arnold. Look at the problem. Look at the source. And if you know anything, and I will do, teach a, a class one of these weeks, we'll do a, a, a lesson on transference of spirits. And if all of that mess is going on in the nunneries and in the, um, the monasteries with the priests, you can imagine. And, and a matter of fact, and if, if the priests have the, the, the women cleaning the place and that's who they're sleeping with, or they got them stashed away in one of the apartments as their wife, you know, and this is going around the country. I mean, come on, people. What do you, what do you expect their people, their, their members to be doing? That's why these exposures, someone called me another relative. They said, we get we got to be relative. Hey, this guy last week, Don, someone down there in, I guess, Atlanta, and I, has, he got 98,000 people following him. He's on Twitter, and he comes out, and he's part of sports, I think, and he says he's homosexual. Okay, okay, hey. There's a whole lot of them that's going to be coming out. And, and folks that know, you know, you know their spirit. They can hide and duck and dive and what have you. But if you know the spirit, you know the spirit. And you're going to see the spirit. And more exposures are coming. Incidentally, we're getting close to this book, Teddy Bear Stolen Innocence, The Birth Pains. They're uh, actually uh, editing it. They're supposed to be, we're going to modify the cover. The writing is done. We just got to, you know, I want it nice. I don't like errors. And you know what? We can have four or five people read it. And more than likely, more than likely, there still will be an error. That is the nature of publishing. And uh, even the big houses, I'm thinking of the people that, you know, they talk about I'm a bestseller. And you read their books and you find all kind of errors. So, Hey, that's it. But t Teddy Bear Stolen Innocence, it'll be out. You can go to the website. Uh, they keep telling me it should be up today, it should be up today. Well, just put it as a placeholder. Here it is. Got a pencil. Write it down. Incest, I-N-C-E-S-T, in black America dot com. Let's say it again. It's incess, and I'm not talking about insects. <laughs> no, incess in black America.com. Make that as a placeholder. And now, uh, my doctordo.com, that's still live, has been, and uh, hey, it's there. Check it out. Get signed up so you can get uh, our blogs. We're starting to publish the uh, series here on masturbation liberation so each week we're sending out a little bit of information so that you can have that data and know what our thoughts are we taught on it if you get a chance go back listen to the uh, program maybe oh I don't know maybe five weeks ago six weeks ago where we dealt with that I mean we really got into it and explained as best we could the nuances because see I believe there are a number of people who are in false <coughs> bondage who are in false pain who are believing a lie and they're deceived that to me is just as bad as there be truth and you don't know the truth. And on this hand.